Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today Saiken plays uh, World of Warcraft uh, with the hardcore mode enabled. It is episode 4 of our Frost Mage. We are level 15 at uh, this point and I prepared a little uh, something. I mentioned that uh, Silver um, Silver Pine Forest is no longer a great area to quest because we only had group quests and then really level 20 upwards quests. So what we did is we relocated into the Barrens, uh, which is the other continent and just in front of Ogrimmar. And that's a very, very rich quest territory. So I've taken up all of the quests. Uh, bound myself here and the idea is that we're really going all the way to level 20 here and once we're done with that uh, we can get the portals or the teleportation portals will come a little bit later the teleportation that allows us uh, to teleport freely between Ogrimmar and the under city and that will make our entire journey so so much more relaxing but before we can do any of that, we need to disrupt the attacks. Uh, unfortunately, we start with the same starter quests as, uh, as anyone else, uh, which in this case would be to deal with the Razor Mains. And the Razor Mains, gosh, they are a little something, I can tell you. I looked up the stats and these guys here seem to be responsible for quite a few kills. So apparently many of the Horde characters are dying here, which is not atypical because uh, the Barons are really the center where Torrens um, as well as uh, Orcs and Trolls all are coming together. So in that case, the Undeads are a little bit of an outsider or an oddball. So naturally where there are a lot of players, there are also a lot of uh, death. Speaking of which, I have seen one so far off screen though, and seen is potentially a little bit uh, too much of an exaggeration. One person has died. Uh, and. I find it interesting because there is a feature where you uh, where you can have a server-wide announcement or where the standard is a server-wide announcement of anyone who is dying. So that's a big thing. And equally, it's a big thing to reach level 60. So there is also a announcement for that. Yeah, in order to do this here without getting swarmed, I need to get closer. it's important to kind of understand the range of uh, these guys. Just so that the others aren't aggroing. Yeah, and I'll be as always sporadically showing uh, the quest content. I'll do one or two more kills and then we're fast forwarding so that we have this here disrupt the attacks done. If this is a double pull, yeah, normally. Normally I uh, would sheep one of uh, them, but since they are low level, we can simply burst one down. It's a little bit faster. Alright, fast forwarding for you guys so that you don't need to sit through all of the kills. Alright, uh, got our kills. Next up, we got quite a few um, kills with the plane striders here. We need to get seven beaks of 
they are all around uh, the Baron, but if I can finish it here, even better. So, I won't bore you with uh, single pulls of them. There are a couple of raptors, uh, which we, by the way, need as well, but I'll just destroy the wildlife here for a little bit longer. Good. Now that we've killed a few of them, we're nowhere through. We're uh, mm, reaching our attention to the crossroad supply crates. I think they are still, um, well, they are also secured by a couple of razor beaks, but that will be just one more quest done. And then we're moving northwards in order to get raptor heads. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was also a unique-ish raptor. Just gotta figure out where that guy was. All right, so. We can ignore most of these guys. All we need is one crate. And that could be straight ahead. Yep, yeah, right down there. Very good. That should solve <coughs> that problem. And we are off to the north, getting the raptor heads and a couple of plain, um, plain stickers. By the way, the birds here are dropping feathers for our feather fall. That is super important because falling from height, we did not have a counter for that yet but we now finally do and that is awesome all right i will continue eradicating a few more of these plane striders and we will fast forward that for you very good so after a pretty lengthy interaction where where we were hunting through this entire area we now made our way uh, nicely to another quest, uh, Harpy Raiders, as well as the Fungal Spores down there. So if we can do this here, that would be a pretty decent uh, set of quests. Blood and thunder. Does this guy have a quest for us? Hmm. Strange, it's indicated as a quest, potentially a follow up. Potentially a follow up of something. Um, yeah, which unfortunately means. Strength. We just need to stick with the quests that we do have. But that's okay. Let's get the harpies and then we're taking this quest here. And yeah, we're bringing, uh, we're trading in the quests afterwards, I think. If my memory serves me well, the harpies also could drop. Um, the feathers that we need for feather fall so we're already at six would be good to have a few more just to stock them up because you're not always fighting against feathery creatures I need to get closer.
Good, this is going to be interesting. We need like what? Eight ta uh, talents. And if my memory serves me well, these guys spawned very, very fast. And loved to add. Oh yeah, and they had curses. I remember that as well. Gosh, we have really decent heavy armor f uh, finds throughout this entire run. If this would be a self-found warrior, we would be absolutely having a blast. Good, I'll do one or two more kills and then we're going to fast forward. As this is just a collection quest, uh, is hmm, there might be a quest objective right in the back, but I'll figure that out once we have the talents. And as long as we're standing on the edge, we should be absolutely fine. All right, I'll fast forward it for you. Good, we just stopped by an oasis here and I collected a couple of mushrooms. Nothing uh, fancy, but the centaurs there uh, are interesting enemies. They will become more relevant a little bit later when we're going for the closer. dungeon here in the south. For now, they are simply staying here. And I think, given that we had such a nice uh, run, let's just trade in what we've gotten so far and see where that gets us. I think uh, we also need to get new spells because we're now level 16, which per se means there is a little bit more that we could get. And there's even an extra bonus quest here. Fantastic. What do you need? To double. Even. Go forth to victory. Sub sub for the horde. Good. Very good. Luxurious uh, problems. We have a full quest log. Yeah, we're going to get the uh, Centaurian braces as well as Corbain's hat a little bit later for now. Let's just trade in and, like I said, see where this gets us. I hope that we're going to get Blink soon because uh, that would be yet another great tool to get out of sticky situations. In terms of skills, I invested both into improved Nova which now allows us to only rock a 21 second cooldown instead of a 25. A um, little bit of an improvement, almost uh, 20%, but still. Um, it, I, w I wish the cooldown would be a little bit uh, shorter overall. In terms of other or next strengths, I think I'll go for Frostbite. The... Um, freezing target chance isn't bad because the target can't do anything and it nicely sets up for um, other spells later such as shatter which massively increases the damage against frozen targets and frozen is either frost nova or if you if you proc frostbite the other option that i could also see is permafrost just to get the target slowed. Yeah, and the critical uh, critical strike what is, is not a bad idea either. I am forsaken. Does that better be good? 
I love uh, coming home after Blood a quest thunder. journey. When you basically have like four, five, six quests to trade in, and then you just see the XP jump. That was always the fun what part. Can I do for you? Go with honor. What brings you here? Ancestors watch. Very good. Plenty of quests. Still. And there are even more up there. So we're definitely going to get go for to 20 the here. Victory for the horde. Strength. And look at that, we almost got an entire level out of it. Rahal. Strength! Victory! Fabulous. So, next up, we're going to kill a few more uh, Razor mains uh, back here. Then on top of it, uh, it's zebra, zebra Hoofs time. Uh, more Harpies. And whilst we're at it, we're going to go for the Centaur Bracers plus uh, the head of uh, the leader here, Kolkar. So that looks like a, a decent tour, uh, but uh, I need to log out for now. Uh, we'll continue the episode nonetheless. I'll just play it the next time. All right, uh, see you in a sec. All right, we are back. Next day for me, same episode for you guys. And it is time to go to the Razor Fiends over here uh, to stop the disruption and do the quest line there. So, fast forwarding a little bit. All right, we reached uh, the location. Oh, let's give it a good... Uh, a good kick. We need to kill Razor Fiend Defenders and Geomancers. We already had our fair run in with most of the Razor Fiends, so should not be a big problem for us. Yes, some of them are already green. That's okay. I don't mind doing green quests, they are still really decent experience. good. Uh, the only thing that I should not forget is summon water before we're actually starting our little adventure here. And food. Good, so the plan will be to simply kill as many of them as possible and some zebras. <clears throat> And ignore the, the hunters as much as possible. I personally like to play out as zoomed as possible. Well, there is potentially still more zoom, but it gets really small if you're playing it out even further than that. But this here gives you a very decent overview about anyone who can approach from behind. And another player who has reached 60. Not bad, congratulations. Um, it feels like we've seen four players, I think, so far reaching level 60 and we've seen one player die. 
so as always it's a bit of a self-selection only the people that would want to play world of warcraft on hardcore servers stick around on hardcore servers so i think the stats that i read with the 50 50 were on launch day uh, where basically everybody was just giving it a try all the death announcement aren't uh, working well enough that might also be the case I haven't seen a whole lot of death uh, so far like I said just one <clears throat> anyways since I haven't played for uh, more than a decade I think I still fall under the category of the original uh, player base who was giving this year a try so let's see if we can make it to six um, I will fast forward the killing process here nothing major going on and we're going to be back uh, once it's done good we got one more quest uh, the Kreenig uh, tug uh, which is I think the boss here right over there uh, so uh, that'll be interesting a couple more defenders to go through As always, we're going to free up a path where we could escape. In this case, it is towards the left. And Krenik is the guy back there I need to get closer. Nah, we're not attacking those two. Just trying to get the wandering guys. Yeah, there is Krenik. Wow, another one level 60. Okay, someone is power leveling. Good, time to disengage and just regain some mana. This should be plenty far enough away. I was about to say, wow, is he going to chase me all the way downhill? Good, Krenik, I'm coming. I'm going to evade your destiny. Here's another uh, trick. If you're quick enough with your clearing, and if you're consistent enough with your clearing, then there should be nothing uh, stopping you almost single pull all of uh, that before you go to uh, Krenik he will come around here which is why I'm single pulling the mystic by the way 
very bad luck for us. Uh, the Mystic resisted two of our uh, spells, and I still don't have counter spell yet. Good. Now it's time to Singapore Krenik. There we go. Tooth has been pulled. Next up, we're going to farm some zebras here ish and here ish so that'll be the next big task uh, i'll fast forward for you guys okay so we got three out of four of the zebras and we now need centaur bracers i already mentioned that the centaurs are becoming a bit of a quest chain over the time and they all have nasty abilities they were kind of the mobs when i fought them the first time where i realized damn these mobs have extra abilities, so they are either are archers or hunters where they can throw nets. Nice. A good find there. Or they are casters which summon a lightning storm. All three of the options are rather unpleasant. Specifically if you have really bad gear, like we're doing. I think I over uh, or underestimated just how much more of a challenge this becomes with poor gear. Because uh, the... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Net. Because uh, the margin for error severely decreases uh, with not being twinged. If you always have uh, wonderfully crafted uh, blue gear on all of the slots and get enchantments, then leveling is a breeze because really even mobs can't really do anything about it. You can even take two or three of them as a cloth wearing class and it's still fine i had this experience when i was just leveling twinks no problem you could uh, for instance use a, a priest shadow priest and just dot three of them continue to keep the dots on them and it'll be fine and you just walk around and there won't be a lot that they can do Interesting. Whenever high level rogues are roaming, I get a little bit nervous because I'm out of range. That's the type of situation that you don't want. Some of them just coming in. Now we can send our ground here, that's fine. I was considering running. Yeah, when high level rogues are around, I don't exactly know how the PvP flagging system works on hardcore servers, but if they are PvP flagged and you're uh, using an AoE attack, I think you're still going to go uh, into PvP with them. And if the rogue is just standing right behind us, then that would be bad because um, the moment that I use a Frost Nova, we would be seeing 
<coughs> PvP flag and yeah, level 60 row or 50-ish row would easily be able to kill me. Hence my adjustment of playstyle here. Uh, by the way, we're currently trying to get Centaur, uh, Centaur Bracers, 15 of these. I already shared with you how I feel about collection quests. All right, let me fast forward that for you because this could be a long grind. Good, we're still at the Centaurs because it just takes some time to grind through all of it. Uh, we're done with the Zebras, but I wanted to showcase the Polver's chest, uh, or, or Polvervane's chest rather, which is right up there. Uh, and we found the key on one of the Centaurs, and now it's just a matter for us to continue going up there. It's right up there. Corbain is the, bo lo the local boss here. Good. The biggest problem with that uh, quest, with the drop quest of the Centaur Bracers, is I vividly remember that the Bracers were not that often in the actual corpses and you needed to kill an incredible amount of uh, Centaurs. So it's all coming back. The trauma from the years of needing uh, to go th uh, through these, and I've fought these guys oftentimes. Good. There is Barracudok Bane. Uh, who has the head and I thought there was yeah there is uh, the booty chest up there all right good so Court of Bane let's go stronger version of an archer level 16 version of them but we're okay As you can see, we're halfway through uh, the Bracer quest. There's one more Stormer up there, and then we can finally get the chest. All right, let's go. And that might also be level up. Offhand item. Inventory is full. Good, another another uh, bracer. And I definitely need to go and see a merchant now. now let me tell you what, I'll grind out these bracers and before we go to the harpy lieutenant i think oh, we just need to see merchant all right we got a bit of an interesting situation here because we got uh, stone arm who is a uh, rare soon. mob uh, let's see if we can single pull him out Oops. Oh. was not uh, working as intended. Alright, 
Alright, that was not working as intended at all. He hits like a truck. Okay. Ooh. I can't use that either yet. One stupid misclick, and that was a close one. Could have bandaged, which I would have done. But let's try that again this time. Um, yeah, I'll do it once my potion cooldown is back up. This guy is hitting hard. And besides, uh, there were two further death. One warrior and one uh, level 14 mage. <clears throat> All right, let me just uh, do clear clear out this camp and then we'll uh, try again. All right, here we go again. Let's see if we're a little bit more successful this time. Definitely need space between him and I. There we go. I can't carry I need to get closer. <clears throat> that was, was much um, cleaner as a kill. Alright, so let me grind uh, out the last braces and then we definitely need to sell. <clears throat> Good, after we are done with the collection quest, Lothar. we're just handing Strength. in most of the stuff. Unfortunately, as always. To victory. There's only so much we can do at the moment. Um, the gear that we're getting is not exactly suited for mages. We're still rocking incredibly outdated gear. No wonder that we're getting uh, pretty heavily hit. Glory to the Horde. Go forth to victory. Farewell. Okay. And next, what we would want to do is get the Prowler Claws. Uh, this here would be Ashen Veil, we don't want that yet. A couple of Harpies. Uh, yeah, the level 20 quests might be a bit much at this point, but we can certainly do the Prowlers, the Harpies, and up here there is an entire area uh, where we can get further, uh, further quests with uh, little goblins. So that would not be too bad. Down here yeah, that's territory which is very dangerous for us at the moment, so we're not going to go there yet. Good, I'll take another break and uh, we are continuing uh, the series, I think, uh, the next time because we're already out of time. We made it all the way to level 17, had one close call due to me not uh, appreciating just how hard uh, the enemy hits, uh, but other than that we have been very much fine and yeah next time we're going to take a little closer uh, look at what uh, quests are still available plus i wanted to go to ragefire chasm that could be a solution for our non-existent gear uh, so stay tuned for that uh, that'll happen in episode number five take care and have a good one bye bye